Top Industries in New Jersey. We are so excited to be here today to introduce to you all the TCC Easy 2. This laminator was designed and developed here in New Jersey and it's manufactured in Taiwan. I'm here today to go over some of the brand new features of our laminator and to show you how it stands out from other laminators on the market. But before we get to that, I want to go over one special note with you. Congratulations, you have your brand new laminator. So I want to point out to you these two big stamps that are on top of the carton. Once you receive your laminator, you must keep this carton and packaging. This specific carton and packaging is needed in order to get the machine back to our warehouse in New Jersey for any repairs. If you dispose of this carton and packaging, you will be responsible to pay for a new carton and inner packaging. So now let's go talk about some key points of this new laminator. Okay, and I'm here to tell you about some of the key features of this TCC Easy 2. I'm very excited to announce that this laminator will have an auto shut off feature. So after 30 minutes of the laminator not being in use, the heat will automatically turn off on the laminator. In order to turn the heat back on, you will need to completely shut down the machine and then power it back up. At this point, you'll need to turn off the key and turn off the machine. Then you'll turn it back on and let it heat back up again. The next feature I'm excited to share with you is our safety heat shield. Now when the heat shield is in the upright position, the laminator will not work. So once you're ready to laminate, just make sure to put the heat shield back down. Another brand new feature on our laminator is our key lock. Um, and just as I showed you before, it would be in the upright position to turn off and uh, in this position to turn on. And we also have a linear foot counter here, and you can easily reset it if you need to reset the linear count um, on your machine. And the last feature that was designed here in New Jersey is our shear cutter. And this will ensure a very smooth cut when you cut out your lamination. Now we're going to show you how to thread your new laminator. First, we're going to get a lamination roll. And we are going to thread the upper mandrel. You just pull it up, and this is our core lock. And you can also see there are different lines on here to show you where you load for your particular film. So we have a 25 inch film, so I'm going to load it to the 25 inch mark on the mandrel. Then we get it on right to the 25. Now I want to point out on the lamination film itself, there is going to be a matte side and a glossy side. The matte side has the glue on the film. So when you're loading your laminator, the matte side on the top mandrel and the matte side on the bottom mandrel need to meet and come together. This is the glue that will hold your lamination film together. So now we're just going to stick this on the top mandrel and it just slides in very easily. And now we'll do the bottom mandrel. Okay, so now we need to take off this tray in order to get to the bottom mandrel. And then we're going to get our next lamination roll. And we will do the same thing we did with the upper mandrel. Easily pull this up, and this is a 25 inch roll, so I'm going to insert it to the 25 inch mark. And again, a reminder with your film, the matte side has the glue on it, the gloss side is the outer side, and when the two matte sides meet, the glue will melt in your laminator. And we're going to just stick this back on the machine.
And there you go. Okay, now we're gonna thread the laminator. I'll start with the bottom mandrel. You're gonna take your lamination film and you're gonna put it over this metal bar here. Now let me remind you we're doing this with the machine completely off. And you just do a little pull. This one is ready to go. Now I'm going to do the upper roll. And this will just go over this metal bar. And I'm gonna just pull the safety shield up so you can see. We want these lamination rolls overlapping. Perfect. And now we're just gonna put the tray back on. So very simply, just put it back on your machine. And then we're gonna power it up and I will show you how to thread the machine. Now we're getting ready to thread the machine. So we're gonna turn the machine on now. First, you have to turn the key to the right and you're gonna hit the power on button. Now, you're gonna select your Film thickness first. This machine can handle 1.5 to 10 mil film. The film we're currently using is 3 mil, so we're gonna keep it on 3 mil. The second selection you have to make is the film type. The easiest way to remember this is LDPE will only be chosen for 1.5 mil film. You will select EVA for 3 to 10 mil film. Again, you will only select LDPE for 1.5 mil film. Since we're laminating with three mil film, I'm going to switch this to EVA. For the speed, we're gonna keep it on a preset uh, setting, but you have the option to choose a different setting that meets your lamination needs. Okay, so now we're gonna thread your laminator. You'll take your threading card, place it right here, and you're going to hit the green run button. Once it's threaded through, you can hit the red stop button. And now you're ready to laminate. Okay, so when the green light here is solid, that means you are ready to start laminating. And also you can make the necessary tension adjustments before you start laminating. There's a little guide pleat on the tray itself, so if you want to, you can loosen the screws and move the guide pleat to wherever you'd like. Or you could leave it in the position that it comes in. And you simply take your lamination piece here and then you hit the green run button. lamination comes out how crystal clear your finished product is going to look. And now that the lamination is coming to an end, you're going to hit the red stop button. And then you simply take the knife
joined today by my teammate and our machine technician, Heidi. Heidi helped in the design and development of the TCC EZ2. Now this laminator has a much easier maintenance compared to other laminators out there. So Heidi, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Okay, so today we have brought you to our machine workshop to emphasize more on one of our uh, greatest improvements on the TCC EZ2, which would be the heating element. Now this element is made of metal instead of our traditional quartz, as you can see here. Now this would greatly improve the chances of it breaking during shipping or end user use. So when the when the customer is using the machine, if they do somehow drop it or something, this will, will definitely increase the life of the machine. Now I can show you our own style of quartz tube, which is made of quartz, and it's very fragile. As you can see here, just one tap, it will greatly shatter. Right here. So having, having the metal style quartz tube, it will definitely increase the life of the machine and will uh, make the heated roller heat up much more evenly than our quartz tube would. Because if, once the quartz tube does shatter, it can short circuit the machine and also prevent even heating along the heated roller. Okay, so also we would like to show you one of our uh, next key improvements, which is the maintenance of the rollers on the machine. So these, these machines, they can go through a lot of heat cycles causing the rubber to separate from the metal or during use they get cut up or damaged. Now removing these rollers on this machine has made it 10 times easier than our previous models through these certain channels that are here. So once you have taken all the necessary steps to get to this point, you can easily slide the roller out through the channel like this. And then once you get the new roller, you can easily slide it back in the same way. Now, just please take note to be careful when doing a job like this, and it uh, should always be done by a trained technician. Also, another key feature we have is our new style of shear knife, as you can see here, com compared to our old style knife like this. Now, this shear knife it makes cutting the, the finished product much more smoother and much easier compared to the old style knife because on the old style knife the material would always get caught up on the edges here. This new knife creates an even contact area and a much more smoother flow so you will never have a miscut or a section of the film that got left uncut. Well thank you for joining us here at Hop Industries in New Jersey. We are super excited to share the TCC with you and we hope you enjoy your brand new laminate.